Okay, chapter 12, example 3. What we have here is four 8-bit numbers listed in hexadecimal format. What I want to do is make these into 12-bit numbers that have the same value. They're in hexadecimal. Um, I guess I could do this without converting to binary first, but I'm going to convert to binary. That way I know I won't make a mistake. So this is unsigned binary. B7 is 10110111. And I need to sign extend that. This is 8 bits. I need to make it into 12 bits. I'm not sign extending it. It's an unsigned number, so I'm just zero extending it. And there's my 12 bit number. Same with the idea with this one. This is 01117A1010. This is 7. And this is A. Uh, what I need to do is zero extend it because it's an unsigned number, which means add four zeros to it. So that's a total of, of 12 bits there. So uh, next I have CA, which is in Radix complement format. So I need a C1100 and an A1010. And uh, I have to get a two up. I see that this is a negative number. And the fact that because it's a sign number, the fact that it's a negative number and a sign representation, I need to sign extend it, not zero extend it. So the sign is, is, is negative. And so that's what I'm going to add to this thing to make to keep the value of the number the same. So it's not overly intuitive, but once again, I'm, I'm, I'm sign extending this number if I'm working with RC numbers. So this number is 4F0100111, 2. Once again, it's RC format, so I'm going to sign extend it. The sign happens to be 0. So in this case, I'm going to add four zeros to it. So summarize this thing unsigned binary I'm always going to uh, zero extend these unsigned binary numbers and these are uh, sign numbers in the radix complement format so I'm always going to sign extend them that looks like extend better <laughs>